In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create two process template slide in PowerPoint and when I click, it will show me the procedure one step versus procedure two steps. So when I click, it will show me the procedure one steps. You can see here this is a step one, step two and step three. And then when I click for the right side, procedure two steps will come. So this is the step one of procedure two, step two and step three so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape, click it here, go to the shape format. I'm going to make the height and width as 2.45. Shape outline, make it no outline and make sure that it is aligned center. And I'm going to fill this with a gradient color. So I already have taken this color. I've used these two different colors. You can see here the rows and the red color combination. So I'm going to select this one, go to the home format painter, click on this one. Then I'm going to duplicate this by holding the control shift key. All right. And this one, I'm going to give the color which I've used here. So select the format painter and click it here. So I end up getting a shape which looks like this. And here you have to make sure that this is, you have to keep it transparent. You can see here, this is 20% transparent and this is 10% transparent. That is the reason it is visible here. All right. So once this is done, I'm going to add one small uh, oval shapes again uh, for the red and the purple color. So select this one, duplicate this one and go to the shape format here. I'm going to make it maybe 0.2 and this also 0.2 small one. You can see here and exactly put it here press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add one here ctrl d and i'm going to add one more here all right so now the same thing i'm going to copy to the right press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here and the color i'm going to select this one format painter click it here all right so again duplicate this by pressing ctrl d one will come here and make sure that this is properly aligned and one more will come here you need to align it properly all right so once this is done i'm going to add somewhat bigger shapes so again select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to make it maybe as 0.6 and this also 0.6 and I'm going to put it here press ctrl D to duplicate add here press ctrl D add here now the same thing press ctrl D to duplicate and again give the same color using the format painter and make sure that this is properly aligned All right. So once this is done, if you want, you can add one small also here. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. And this one, the size, I'm going to make it as 0.1 only. It's very small. And just put it here. Press Ctrl D. Again, this is optional if you want to keep it. It's up to you. If you want to skip, you can skip this part. So again, Ctrl D. All right. You can give the same color here again format painter let me just zoom otherwise i cannot do that yeah so press ctrl d to duplicate add here ctrl d add one more here once this is done go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one I'm going to delete this long text. I'm keeping short only, short text only here. Right align, gray color, reduce the font size. 
and I'm going to keep it here. This is my first option. My second option, the third option, Control D to duplicate, bring the other side, left align, and start putting the text for each option. And the last part is adding the text. So go to insert text box. I'll say procedure one steps and I'm going to make this as bold and white font reduce the size and put it here press ctrl D or hold the ctrl shift key and drag it the other side and the right align and this is the procedure two steps and one more thing which you can do is you can duplicate this one and I'm going to make as step one center align this is my step one you can see here control D to duplicate this will come here again control D and the same thing let's do it on the right side and here also the same thing so this will be my step 2 and this is the step 3 and here also step 2 and step 3 done again if you want to do some basic animation effect to it you can add the animation effects and i don't want this one i'm going to delete this one and you can add one title here and again if you want procedure one versus procedure two that text also i can make it so i'm just going to make this as versus and center align that's it so we are done if you want to do some basic animation, you can apply the basic animation effect to it.